Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach from electricalexamcoach.com and this is lesson 5.4 in our video series. And in this lesson, we're going to be learning all about voltage drop. Let's get to it. If you were to do an internet search for a voltage drop formula, you would likely find this one right here. Voltage drop equals 2 KDI over C mil. And that is an excellent formula. And it's actually the one that I use but I've rearranged it so it's easier to remember. I do it like this, two kid over C mil. Easy to remember and easy to plug in. And what this is, just like previously in the program, this is implied multiplication. So it's gonna be two multiplied by K, multiplied by I, multiplied by D, divided by C mils. Now let's learn what each one of these individual pieces mean. Two is going to be our constant multiplier for single phase. If we're doing three phase, we're going to use 1.732 as our multiplier. K is going to be the K factor. And I want you to think of it like a multiplier for your wire. For copper, it's 12.9 and aluminum, it's 21.2. Don't worry about remembering all this. If you're able to bring an uglies into your test, it has it in there. Your state might allow you to write inside your book. You can just write it in there. And if you have to do it like I did, you'll just go into the exam and the first thing you'll do is write it down on your scratch piece of paper. I is your current in amperes and D is going to be your distance. And you don't have to put it both ways. It's whatever distance the question says, you can plug it in one time. That's why I love this formula. And the C mills are going to be the circular mills of the wire. And we're gonna teach you how to look up those. To find the C mills of a wire, we need to head to chapter nine, table eight. It's toward the back of the book in the chapter nine tables. Go ahead and head there now. When we get there, we find that there's a lot going on with the table, but just like every other table, we only need to focus on what we need to focus on. On the left-hand side, we're gonna find our size of wire. And you'll notice all of your familiar friends, 14, 12, 10, then it goes down into larger numbers like 3 out and 4 out. Then it goes into the KC mills. And that's where we get those circular mills from. 250, 300, 350. In the next column over, we need to be sure to be in the area section. Because that's where we're going to get our circular mills value. Each wire has a circular mills value. And you'll notice for the first few wires that there's, there's uh, two sets of 12, two sets of 14, two sets of 10. But if you look over, the circular mills are the exact same size. So don't worry about if it's solid or stranded. Just go over to the circular mills. Make sure that you're in the area section under circular mills, and you'll find your value. You'll notice when you get down to 4 ot that the values stop. And the reason is, is because the left-hand side of this table, the 250, 300, and 350, are already showing you what the circular mills are in KC mills. So we have 250,000, 300,000, 350,000. So once you get past 4 ot, you're going to get into 250, 300, 350. And all you have to do is add on the three zeros. What is the voltage drop of a 200 amp circuit using 4 ot copper conductors that is 225 foot long on a 120, 240 volt system? Step one, we're going to write down our formula. I like to physically write it down on the piece of paper so I can go through one step at a time. Then I'm going to draw a large division line so I can put my inputs that need to be on top and then go look for my C mills. Let's start with two. Is this a single phase or a three phase service? Well, this one is single phase, so it is going to be two. Then I'd like to go ahead and put my X down for multiplication so I don't get my numbers mixed up. Then let's go to the K, and that's going to be dependent on the type of conductor. And in this case, it's copper. So the K factor for copper is 12.9. Now we need to look at I, which is current. We put down our X for our multiplier. We go to our question, and it's a 200 amp circuit. So we're going to put 200 down. Then we put our multiplier, and now we need to look for D. Well, our D is 225 foot, and we put that down. Now we need to find our circular mills. And for that, we're going to be looking for 4-aught in the table. When we head to chapter 9, table 8, 
We're going to start on the left-hand side and come down and find 4 op. Then we're going to cross over and we're going to find that it's 211600. Anytime it's a long number like that, I don't try to figure out my thousandths or tens. or I just say 211600 and I write that down. Then I write that down right under here. Now all we have to do is go to our calculator and plug it in. And all we have to do is plug in our values. We take 2 multiplied by 12.9 equals multiplied by 200 equals multiplied by 225 equals and then we divide that by 211600. And it's as simple as that. That lets us know that we have a 5.48, which we would round up to 5.5, voltage drop on this circuit. And we select B. Great job. That's the end of lesson 5.4. You can head over to electricalexamcoach.com for more practice questions and lessons like these. Let's get to it.